Welcome all. In this session, I am going to show you one of the useful tools for software testers. That is Lighthouse Chrome add-on tool. So what exactly is this tool and how it can be useful for the software testers? The tool name is Lighthouse. Lighthouse is a Google Chrome add-on tool. It's a Google Chrome add-on tool. That means you have to install this Lighthouse in your Google Chrome browser as an add-on. Then you can use this tool. But what is the purpose of this Lighthouse tool? There are several purposes of this Lighthouse tool, while the main purpose is to perform the performance testing. Okay, Lighthouse add-on in the Google Chrome browser will generate a report on performance testing of the given web application page. For that particular web application page, the performance testing will be done by this add-on and it will generate a report guys. Along with the performance testing, it will also generate the report for other type of testings like accessibility testing. So performance testing is all about speed of the application, right? This is all about the speed. How, how speedy is the application? Okay, how fast is the application kind of thing? Speed or fastness of the application. Accessibility is about whether the disabled people Okay, but the disabled people like uh, deaf and dumb people can easily use the application or not. How good is your application page for the disabled people for accessing? That is known as accessibility testing. So Lighthouse tool or add-on not only will generate the report related to performance testing of the given web application page, but also it will generate the report consisting of this accessibility testing results, guys. Okay, which will be helpful for us to know whether this web application page is suitable or accessible by the disabled people like deaf and dumb people fine that is the second thing along with that okay along with that so best practices kind of thing is a web application page according to the best practices so if you are testing something guys that may not be an issue but uh, as part of best practices there may be some security bugs guys security or any other issues any other improvements okay security testing and any other improvements that fall into the best practices. So report on performance testing, accessibility testing, web up, uh, best practices, then SEO guys. The last item is uh, that the last item that this particular tool which generated the results for is the SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So in order for your web page, okay, web application page is according to the search engine optimized or not. Why it, Why the web application page has to be search engine optimized? So without that guys, uh, your uh, search engines like Google or Bing or any other search engines will not be able to, okay, uh, rank your page on the top. If your web page, web application page is not search engine optimized, the possibility of the web page being displayed in the top of the results when you Google search or Bing search or any other search will be less, okay? If you want your page to be displayed on the top, the first basic uh, thing that you have to make sure is like uh, your web page, okay? Your web application page is properly search engine optimized. So like that guys, these are all the several things that uh, this Lighthouse Google Chrome add-on tool will generate a report for. Fine, now let me show you practically how to install this Lighthouse add-on tool in the Chrome browser and uh, how to generate this kind of results for our testing needs. So for that, I will open the browser. And here guys, uh, this Chrome doesn't have any add-on that is Lighthouse add-on. So I'll simply search for Lighthouse here in the browser. This is a Chrome browser guys. Okay, you should not be uh, doing this in any other browser. Simply search for Lighthouse in the Chrome browser and uh, you'll get this results, search results where uh, the first one is a Lighthouse from developers.google.com. We don't want developers think. Scroll down a bit. Here you'll set, you'll get, you'll see, here you'll see Chrome dot google.com lighthouse under the chrome.google.com click on this now you'll be taken to the chrome web store of the lighthouse now from this page okay from this lighthouse add-on page of the google, google chrome web store we have this button known as add to chrome click on this then you'll get this dialog uh, where you need to select add extension now lighthouse will be added to your chrome browser like this fine this add-on has been added installed and added to this chrome browser this icon guys, okay? The lighthouse add-on add-on 
icon will be like this. This is the logo of this lighthouse. As you can see, there is a lighthouse and some clouds are there. Okay, that is the logo. Now, once the moment you try to close this, uh, it's getting disappeared from this Chrome, right? Uh, so for that, we have to click on this extensions and then say pin so that you can see this uh, add-on displayed on the Chrome directly. Now, guys, uh, we have successfully uh, install, added and installed this lighthouse to our Chrome browser and pinned it. Now, what next is we'll close that and we'll open the application page that you want to test. Let's say I want to test this page, tutorialsninja.com slash demo page. I want to test using this. Uh, so using this lighthouse uh, Chrome add-on tool, I want to test the different things like uh, performance, accessibility, security, and any other best practices and search engine optimization. I want to check for this page. How good is this uh, web application page according to this things? So not only this home page, guys, you can go to, let's say we can go to this product display page of this, okay, of this product, okay? There's a product display page. In e-commerce, uh, we call this as product display page. So we can also test the, any page you can select, not only the home page. For example, if you want to test this uh, product display page, so what do we have to do? Go to the product display page of this application. This is a this is the product display page. Let's say I want to test the, all the parameters like performance security, okay? Performance security, SEO, and accessibility of this page. So I'll go to this page where I want to test and then click on this uh, lighthouse add-on. The moment I click, I'll get this uh, dialog saying generate report, guys. You have to click on the generate report. It will take a while, guys. Uh, it will generate the results for us. So it will take a while and it will display the results for us. So once it is done, you will see how good is the performance of this web application page, how good is the SEO of this page, how good is the accessibility of this page, how good is the best practices, okay, of this page. You see performance is very low for this page. It's 66 only, right? A lot of improvements are there. So what exactly? Time to interactive. Time to interactive, there is a problem, guys. So in order to analyze all these uh, suggestions given by this Lighthouse tool, we need to sit with the developers, okay? Or some architect kind of person in your company, we have to go to him and show him this particular report generated by the Lighthouse and discuss with the things with him. What is this? What is this? Why this is like this? Well, we have to discuss or we can Google search about each and every topic that is shown here and find out what exactly is going wrong and how to fix them and then talk to your developer or the concerned person in your project to get them fixed and increase the speed of this page, fine? Then coming to accessibility guys, uh, performance results are here. When you click on this, but these are the performance results. So what are the reason for uh, get a slow page and all those things, you see red color things we have to fix, okay? Yellow maybe we can ignore, but uh, red things need to be fixed for sure. So one large library is found, okay? A lot of things are there. So for example, if I, let's say this particular page, this particular product display page is giving this kind of results, right? Uh, as you can see, everything is in a kind of not good, not bad kind of situation, performance, accessibility, best practice, SEO. But if I go with the home page, I'll test the home page guys, okay? Instead of this product display page, I'll go to the home page of this uh, web application and click on this uh, lighthouse add-on and click on generate report. Let's see what kind of results we'll get for the home page. So it's taking a while to generate the results. Uh, fine, we'll wait uh, for it to generate the results. And once done, we can discuss the things about, yeah, we got the results guys. Performance, you see, the performance of the product display page was very less, right? 66 something was there, but uh, the performance uh, of this home page is like 91. It's very good performance, right? So you can click on this performance. You'll get the details of this performance. Still, you can discuss the remaining things. Green color things are very good. Speed index and all those things are good, but uh, this orange color things we need to discuss how to improve and all to increase this number. So out of 100, 91 is there. Coming to accessibility, I already told you guys, this is for the disabled, okay? Disabled people for using the application, how easy it is to use for the disabled people like deaf and dumb people. So when you uh, like perform accessibility testing, manually also you can perform guys. Uh, then if this particular tool is generating the report, then we can see like what exactly is going wrong, okay? It will make our job easy, right? As part of accessibility testing. Buttons do not have an accessible name. So the buttons on this page doesn't have the accessible name, okay? They are not named properly. So that what happens when a button is not named properly, a disabled, a defined dump kind of person, when he visits this website, he'll not know what exactly this button is. He will get confused and he'll not be able to use the application. Like that many other suggestions are given for this web application page in accessibility point of view. Fine, uh, in uh, like uh, keeping the disabled people in, in view, 
okay this accessibility testing is performed so then best practices we have coming to the best practices uh, you see this application is not a secured one that's the first security point of view it should use https but here it is not using https it's not secured there is no certificate security certificate is not there so a lot of security issues are there still it's okay it's a demo dummy application so it's not secured but still uh, when you are using when when you want when you actually test real time projects right our main responsibility is to see whether the application is secured or not because very good uh, clients will be using that uh, very good end users a lot of end users and customers will be using the web application page if the application is not secured then they will not be using right so we have to fix this kind of issues so so there are some javascript related security vulnerabilities also there guys so if you are good in security testing you will understand all this stuff okay so it's all about a vulnerabilities in security testing we call it as vulnerabilities it's a separate domain guys security testing but at least you got some idea here you can go get this uh, take this report and go to the concerned people and then get them fixed okay all the security bugs fixed you don't have to find this uh, vulnerabilities after uh, okay doing a lot of r&d as part of security testing but a uh, simple this single add on is uh, giving you the results right at a high level you will fix all this stuff to make this page good the next one uh, user experience wise okay you see not only security but also the as part of best practices user experience is also checked so where was that here uh, best practices and then uh, okay these are the vulnerabilities this is a user user experience so if a user is using this particular web page how good it is okay server images with low resolution service images with low resolution there are some images on this page guys which are doesn't have that good release resolution kind of thing what will happen if the re resolution of this images is not good the quality will degrade right uh, once you see these images which are not uh, good in resolution okay the feel look and feel of this uh, page will not good look okay so that's why it, this add on is suggesting you to provide more okay more good images in terms of resolution the resolution of the images should be very high guys so that uh, the way they will be displayed on this page will be good okay so far i don't see visually what are the images uh, which are not having low resolution maybe this one maybe the thing okay which has a low resolution somehow the website is managing we don't know so maybe we can talk with the developers and get the proper images displayed here which have the high resolution then we have seo i already told you about seo right search engine optimization for google search and bing search and whatever the search so this is very good in terms of seo seo score is very good guys uh, so search engines actually will use this seo uh, score for displaying your web pages on the uh, level of the rank of the google search results when you search for something uh, let's say there are competitor websites like uh, there is something like like amazon and this tutorials ninja.com let's say they are competitors and uh, if the amazon uh, website uh, web application page score is like 100 and your web application score is 96 tutorials ninja is 96 and amazon is like 100 in that case when someone searches for the same product that is there on amazon and your website that is tutorials ninja and amazon if someone searches the one which is having the good uh, score will be given the priority by the search engines like google or bing okay they will be using this score for displaying your uh, web pages web application pages in the search results if there is a competition then if your score is less you will be in the last search results where if your score is high you will be in the beginning results this is this is a one of the parameter that search engines will consider while displaying the pages in the search results so top priority pages will have good seo score that's what i am saying fine and apart from seo you see mobile friending mobile friendly uh, so here tap targets are not sized properly when you are using this particular uh, web application page in the mobile maybe uh, when you when you tap targets right uh, they are not sized properly so you cannot tap it properly okay so in mobile we will not use, have any mouse right we cannot uh, take our mouse mouse pointer and click on that in mobile we will use our finger to tap it tap the required elements but there are some elements which are not sized properly so that uh, the user may not be able to tap it properly when, even though user tried to tries to tap that particular element so you are not unable to tap it okay so so maybe you can increase the size so that the tapping will be easy for the user in the mobile to make it mobile friendly this particular web page to become mobile friendly this uh, tapping of few options on the web page in the mobile device should be made tap friendly 
by sizing them properly. The size need to be increased in the mobile. Like that, guys, we got a lot of suggestions. Uh, you see a lot of uh, big report it is, right? Very big report. So what is that? Uh, page load is fast enough. At, a, at the end, guys, uh, they gave a lot of things like what exactly we need to take care of. Page load is fast enough for mobile network. Mobile, it is fast also. Okay, when offline, there is a problem. There is some technical things. Okay, security wise, security problems. Okay, some splash screen. Fine, uh, theme color. So there is some theme color missing for the address bar, it seems. So like that many other suggestions are given guys, a lot of reports are given. We have to take this report, sit with the developers, analyze them where exactly it's going wrong and improve it if it's not according to the client requirement level, okay? So you see how simple this add-on is and how powerful it is generating the reports, right? So it's very good add-on guys, Lighthouse, which will uh, make our job easy in terms of uh, all the types of testing like performance, accessibility, SEO and other best practices uh, like uh, you, like your user experience and security testing kind of stuff. So hope guys you understood how to use this Lighthouse uh, Chrome add-on tool. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.